What's up? This is yours truly. Now, Beatrice at Dinner. I know many of you probably have not seen this film unless you really care about the arts. And I saw this film and forgotten about it 10 minutes after I saw it because it was so dull. I didn't even do a movie review. That's how dull I was watching this film. Now, they're trying to show you uh, a contrast of polar opposite characters. But the director seems to be fascinated on the butt, the butt of <laughs> Salma Hayek. I mean, how many times have we seen shots of just her butt in this film? It felt like her butt was one character and she was another. And some of the scenes are just so unnecessary. I mean, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I know you want to show the scope or show her from the back and look out on the, like her looking out on the earth and all this stuff. But some of those shots were not necessary. And they are showing Selma Hyatt without makeup and everything else. I guess it was moving at such a slow pace that they wanted to, I guess, keep the viewers interested by just saying, well, just cut to a shot of her butt so they can really pay attention a little bit, you know. And what this is is a, a immigrant who came here, uh, supposed to be legally in the film. That's, that's one of the things they tackle. And she went through a lot of bad luck, and she's like a spiritualist, uh, helping people cleanse their souls and, you know, cleansing their body and whenever they got stress, so a whole bunch of negativity going on. And she's doing it for the rich, the super rich. So her car breaks down at one of her house appointments, and she's forced to stay the night, they insist that she stayed at night and they happen to have din dinner guests come over and their dinner guests are basically their boss, you know, and he's a you know, oil, 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 oilness or whatever you call it, uh, billionaire, you know, and he doesn't care about the environment and cares about business and money. That's, that's all he knows. And you see, he likes to hunt and show game in Africa. He was such a cliche character. It's like, look, why don't you just name the guy Donald Trump? I mean, really, it's clear that's what they were, the angle they were going at. With his lack of regard for life and the conditions of things, it's just remove it. Whatever's in the way, remove it. No remorse. And her character was the polar opposite. Then when it gets towards the end, you're like, I don't know. Because she starts taking turns and you start seeing her like kind of be off balance. Or she's drinking wine and she's doing things that you're like questioning her. And she's supposed to be the person of reason in the film. Um, and it just goes left. And I said, wow, this movie really went left when it had an opportunity on the stage to really be something. And it just lost all its luster. And it ends so bizarre. You're like, oh, this is dumb. Uh, the message I can get from it is saying that the world is too good. I mean, the world is too polluted right now with too many people and too much energy like this. I don't think I belong in this world. I need to go to the next or something like that. It's that's the only way I could see it. Uh, it's just really confusing. So I'm not going to waste any more time on this film. I give this movie two stars at best um, out of four. Of course, you know, I used the four four star scale. I'm going to give it two because it, you know, it had potential to really be something and it lost its way. I'm out.